Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We have to do a retake of this scene. Yeah, we're gonna go with the, without saving. The news is tightening. The police are closing in on me. I had to. They'll be I had back. My microphone and next for this time, one. they'll take me in. Agatha was my last chance. She's the only one who seems to understand what's happening to me. I just hope this time she'll give me some answers. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, I had my microphone muted, so we're gonna real quick redo this scene on uh, on camera. Agatha, Agatha, there. it's Lucas. Someone just went out the window. Sir, yep. I need to get your name before I can record your message. Yep. Sir, the police cruiser will be there in just a few minutes. Can you hear me, sir? Agatha. So, we're going to completely ignore the body. If you look at that, that's minus 30. And Lucas is already at half, so. So at least he's not doing very hot. Now, in here there's a key. I didn't have enough time to figure out what the key was for, and I, I've completely blanked. I usually just jump out the window right away. There's a key in the seed bag. So I do get a second chance to look around and try and figure it out. It took me forever to find the key. It was the last place I looked, so... I feel like I used the key here. Hey! There's a piece of paper in this cage. Yeah, there's some other stuff here as well, I remember. Ah, that's what the key's for, to get the paper. I remember now, okay. Yeah, this, this makes some sense. And we'll shed a little light on what the hell's going on. A newspaper article from 1928. Why would Agatha want me to see this? Stabbed an innocent victim several times in the heart. There does not appear to be any link between the murder and the victim, and the crime would seem to be the result of a sudden explicable fit of madness. It says made in coherent statements of police, who's also bore traces of self mutilation on his wrists. Right, there we go. Police cruiser's coming. Anyway, that's really, I think, all we needed to see. That's all there was. So we know it's been happening for a while. Now, let's ditch. Let's, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. New York Police. Anybody there? Nope. Not a soul. Hey, Kevin! Call an ambulance! There's a body on the floor! So, yeah, I get that was dead. This rises. What's up? Anybody home? Yeah, we're going to Tyler's apartment. Tyler? I didn't expect you so soon. Be a good boy and preheat the oven. Oh, and pour us a couple of glasses of champagne from the fridge. I'll be out in a minute. So... I've already done this uh, section right now, and I've learned something. There's a huge difference between the European and North American release. So, spoiler alert, we're about to get a um, dance from Sh Sam, our beautiful girlfriend. And um, in the North American release, it actually goes farther than that. <laughs> and she gives us a full-blown striptease. I'm not even shitting you. And in this, at all times. Hello, Detective Miles. Like, Do you know what day on. it is today? Uh, well, we already it's probably had better for Christmas, YouTube, honestly. So but, um, Fourth of July? No, that's summer. No, you got me. Tyler. Okay, okay, babe. It's been exactly two years since I met the woman of my dreams. You want to put some music on? 
I feel like dancing. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna put on some music. If you don't hear music, it's because I had to cut it out for copyright reasons. YouTube's really like that. So, I apologize. Not even to get ready. This is gonna be a bit on the long side, and besides, I suppose at least you guys have some tits to look at or something. Meantime, I'm gonna be sitting here staring at uh, a game of Simon Says. I'm trying not to screw up. Luckily, I can't screw it up too bad, but, you know. Alright. Yeah. So, hilariously, the um, strip tease where she gets nude never shows her breasts or anything, but, um, like, it always puts very conveniently placed objects, I guess you could say. Um, actually, it might come later than that happens. I, don't, I only just realized my mic was muted for it after this segment, so. But I'm fairly certain it also happened in the seg- it happened specifically in the segment. But uh, I found that a music that censored in the European release of Fahrenheit and not an in Indigo Prophecy. Next, next time I'll have to remember to download the North American release. If you're gonna pirate this game, North American release, guys. There. Okay. Now I had all the pieces of the puzzle. I just needed to put them all together to find our murderer. On my desk lay all the information from Nazar and Jones. On Tyler's desk, the clues from the restaurant. The identity of the killer was here somewhere. And... No, no phone call. That's what I expected. The reason... One of the things that I said I would uh, go without saving is because there loaded up this time with the other Carla oh fuck really it saved even though I said do so without saving oh well Richard the third we don't have the friggin uh oh maybe we do Either way, the first link here. We can. We just need three links. The two books are from the same collection and have the same dedication. They obviously belong to the same person. I've got my first link. I'll need another in order to establish proof that Kane is our man. Oh, maybe that's the uh, phone call from Garrett. There we go. Detective Valenti. Hi, Carla. It's Garrett. I called to tell you that I sent you the results of the testing we did on the prints on that pen. They should already be in your email. Perfect. Thanks, Garrett. I'll take a look right away. The taxi company should have sent you a list of taxi destinations from the same street as the diner the night of the murder. It we didn't take a taxi, so it doesn't matter. Thanks. Bye, Garrett. That's why I didn't take a taxi. Carla. It's traceable. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have a look at the prints on the pen. Gonna compare them to the prints from the uh, restaurant. Alright, so look at the prints from the restaurant. No doubt about it, the prints from the restaurant and the pen come from the same person. This time, there's no reasonable doubt. Lucas Kane is the restaurant killer. I've got to tell Tyler right away. I think, yeah, you usually you need a third link, um, but I think the fingerprints count as two or whatever. They're legit like that. Answer it, lover. <sighs> it's 
sorry, babe. I need to answer it. It might be important. Tyler, no! <sighs> Hello? We got him, Tyler. I'm on my way. Tyler, I'm warning you. If you leave me now, I will never forgive you. I won't be long, babe. Just sip some champagne and I'll be right back before you know it. I'm sorry, Sam, but this is really important. What about me? I'm not important? Nope. Tyler! <sighs> Premonition. Boy, this looks familiar. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Oh, I won't be long. Nasta nectila neki bini nata quen kasta nekli kwadikla na rai quen tana. We've seen this scene before. There's Armageddon. She hasn't made much of an appearance lately. She really only starts to make more appearances in the end game. I finally put all of the pieces together. All that's left is to arrest the killer. Captain Jones has given us everything we asked for. There's no chance of him escaping. Okay, this is it. Everybody in position. Copy that. All right, let's arrest us at Lucas Kane. There's actually kind of a plot hole to this. I'll go in first. You cover me. Okay. Damn, what the hell is this? Cover me. I'm gonna check the doors. Yep. Our apartment's randomly satanic. Randomly satanic. No idea why. Damn, son. We missed him. Well, he's running now. As I was talking about with, um... This little plot hole. He's running across Lucas's the street, brother says this. Stop the doorman him. says he's We're coming. coming. You'd that. think the police would be able to know if he was home by that same method, but it happened again. Not so Somebody much. died in the lavamatic. I saw it like I was there. Agatha's dead, so who's gonna tell me what's going on? Put your hands in the air. And damn, the police. Oh, wait, I actually have to change the difficulty settings for this. There is a bug in this game. They already found me. Where I'll spend um, the rest of my days rotting in prison, and I'll never find out what really happened. No. It's not going to happen like that. No, damn straight. We're going to start kicking ass, taking names. I have to change the difficulty level specifically for this fight, though. Um, because there's a bug in the fight. Where the game will lock up for a moment. This only happens on newer op operating systems. Um, this done. Seven. Stop, I'll shoot! Don't move, asshole! And time to go all Neo from the Matrix on them. I like how we're do we dodge in cars while this happens. Ooh, bitch. So yeah, we're getting some elite-ass Matrix powers here. New York Police! 
Don't move. Honestly, I'm mildly surprised they haven't just pulled like an APC with a machine gun on it. This is not like the real New York police. They started mowing me down. <laughs> You can actually pretty easily see just how much easier this is. Uneasy, but um, I'm still good. I can afford to make a few more fuck ups. It's this part here that the game will lock up for a moment. At least it should. And hey, I can even get up to there. But uh. At some point, there'll be a freeze frame. Oh, wow. Maybe it's not in the European version. Maybe it's only an Indigo Prophecy. That, that's there. I guess I can turn the difficulty all back to normal. But uh, you'd have to play on easy, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to. i uh, get past that, actually. Like, it would freeze, and then if you were, like, here, you'd just be at the bottom, and you can slowly lose. <laughs> did you see what that guy just did? Shit, that's crazy! We need to catch him. And next time, he won't get away. Eh, so... I apologize for coming down the fight, apparently. Uh... It's a weird bug. That, uh, usually happens. But anyway... I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you everybody for watching. And I hope you enjoyed our new Neo-styled Matrix powers. Mm -hmm. Still following the storyline? I'd be impressed if you were. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Kaelvin, signing off.